Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve front-end developer interview question asked in uh, Airbnb front-end developer round. Uh, it, it is for the fresher front-end developer role and the Airbnb offer 18 to 20 uh, LPA as a base and uh, like its CPC is around 24 to 35 LPA. So let's see the question. So we have to build a tab component that display one panel of a comp content at a time depending on the active tab element so let's see if we have if i click on this html then only this text should be visible if i click on css then only this text should be visible and on javascript only this text should be visible it is a very pretty straightforward question but uh, you can solve it in the react i i would say like in react it it will be a bit easier and if you solve it in the javascript so it will take a little more effort so in react ideally you can solve this question in 5 to 10 minutes and in javascript it will take 10 to 15 minutes so in this video i will tell you the both method uh, how to solve in uh, in react using intuitive or how to optimize your react code also we uh, we have provided with the boilerplate um, we already have this three buttons and this text so we don't have to write everything from this scratch so let's get started and understand how to uh, solve this so what we are gonna do is first of all we will create an uh, uncontrolled component what is uncontrolled component a component which have their uh, internal state so we have to create one state which i will say active step and i have to set my active step like is my active step is um, html css or javascript and depending of that value of active step i will show the content and by default i will use um, html so this is my default value so html will be my default value so what i have to do is first of all i have to import use state from react so let's keep this uh, at the bottom instead of keeping this at the top let's keep it here so okay so now we have active step and set active step so what we are gonna do is on clicking this html our active step will be html on clicking css uh, our active step will be css and on clicking um, the javascript button our active step become javascript so let's do it our active tab now what we have to do we have to use conditional rendering so what is conditional rendering is uh, depending on uh, some condition we have to render different uh, content so here what I am gonna do is I will use this curly braces and here I will say active tab equals to HTML if this is the case then I will use and and operator and I will put this here so now if our active tab equal equals to html if this is true then only this condition will run now let's do this for uh, css and the javascript as well so let's create curly braces active tab equal equals to css so now if you see uh, by default our active step is html so right now html content is visible to us and if i click on css css content is visible if i click on javascript javascript content is visible so it's done but there is lots of problem in this code so first of all let's see the requirement and here you can find that add a visual indication that which tab is active i can't find um, by seeing the button which uh, button is active so i have to provide some classes here so I will give the class active here depending on the condition is my active step equal equals to HTML if this is the case in that case I will give it an active class so let's do the same for all CSS for the CSS and the JavaScript as well so here I have to write JavaScript and here I have to write CSS now let's create um, the styling part so if i go to style and here i will say um, let's give the style to button that padding 
so it be um, zero pixel and um, maybe four pixel and eight pixel, and the margin should be four pixel. And let's give one active class dot active class, and here I will say our text will be or text color will be white, and uh, the background color will be blue violet. So let's give this and see how it's. So we don't have to focus much on this style as mentioned in the requirement. We just have to see like if it's working or not. So now you can easily uh, check like which uh, tab is active. So it's done. But if you notice this code, you can find that uh, I am repeating the same code. This button code is repeating three times. This uh, this code is repeating multiple times. And uh, there is few more uh, problems here. The very first problem is. I am repeating the content. I am repeating the code. And in software engineering, it's known as like dry principle. Do not repeat yourself. Okay. So we are violating that rule first of all. Second rule is if I have to add a few more tab, then adding or removing or modifying the tab will be much difficult here because I have to change in the button as well. I have to change in the um the content uh, here as well. So uh, let's do let's improve this code. So we will create an array um, which will contain all the tab uh, button labels and their content. So let's use const um, tabs and here I am creating the um, array and here we will have the label and label let's say something and then we will have a content. So content will be something. So let's say what we have to do here. I have a uh, um, three label and three content. So I will just copy it. And here paste it, and here also paste it. So now I have to go to let's say HTML, remove it. And let's write the label as well. So label will be HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So now if you notice here. So this can be like passes through the. Um, we can uh, show this in the different file. We can use it in the different file. But for now, we can just add it here, and let me just collapse it. So now I can use a map over this tab array, and uh, I don't have to repeat this. So let me show you how to do that. So what I will do, I will say um, tabs dot map, and here we I will have a tab. And from this, I will say um, I want to return a button. So I just have to return the button. So I will say button, or I will uh, simply use this and save this. So now what I have to do? Let's let's remove this button. Now this will return an array of uh, HTML, HTML, HTML. You can find this. So now what I I will do? I will say here I will write tab dot label. So you can see HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is fine. Now on clicking that, I don't have to show HTML. I have to show our tab dot label content. So now, um, okay. So I have removed the content. So what I have to do is actually, um, I am coming here, and here I will write a uh, tab dot map, and again we will have a tab, and from this tab. This time I will uh, return the paragraph, paragraph, and in this paragraph, what I have to return is I have to return tab dot content, and let's remove this and see how it look like. So you see, every like all the CSS, HTML, and JavaScript code is written. So I will just use a simple condition that is tab dot um, label equal equals to our active tab. And if this is the case, then return the P. Otherwise, don't return it. So this is a simple um, one line of code, and this is also like two three lines of code. But uh, overall, this code is very simple, and we are not repeating ourselves. It is very flexible, concise. You can e easily add modify the tabs from this uh, data. So what we are doing here is uh, it's very simple and optimized code. So if I click on HTML. Now the thing problem is if you see the style. So what he has to do? Okay, so here I have to change this to step dot 
label. So let me just confirm it. HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Yeah, it's working fine. So this is uh, the code that we have to show. And what there can be the possible questions. So the very first question that can come in your interview while solving this uh, is what is conditional rendering? What is use state? Uh, when to use use state? What is the control components? So you should know this. Uh, so let me know in the like comment section. Uh, do you know the answer of what is use state? What is control component? What is conditional rendering? And uh, how you will explain this uh, question to the interviewer? And one more thing that you have to do is um, try to solve this question in Vanilla JavaScript. And do let me know if you are up for this challenge. And I will uh, going to do. 30 days challenge so we are have, we will have a lots of upcoming challenges so do make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so i will see you in the next video